So, oh, ho, ho, Elf ho, ho, named ho, ho, ho. Nate. How's it going, everybody? I'm some guy named Nate, and this is Hotful Boyfriend Holiday Star. We're inside the King's Palace. I don't know how it escalated this quickly, but there you go. You should watch the last episode, bitch. The citizen we talked to earlier said the king should be in here, but his <laughs> his royal highness, the king, 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 king. Hello, I'm the king. Wait, I don't know why I gave him that voice. Did he just announce himself? Maybe that's how they do things around here. Look at the king, everybody. His crowned bird, or, yeah, the crowned bird sets himself down on a magnificent throne. Anyone will shake me. Avarice guy will build my throne. He doesn't quite seem dignified, or maybe he seems a little humble. Be humble. Sit down. Be humble. Ray Romano, at any rate, he's very forward king. You are the king? Yes! Wait, I don't know why he has that voice. The king is the king of the star. I'm just gonna give him a bouncy cadence for his voice. I don't give a shit. He's very assertive. Not insertive in an extremely plain way. The king asked, are you from the outside? Do 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 do. You have a very nice planosphere. Yes, we're from a little dove Hachiman city from St. Pigeonations. It sparkles and it's pretty. The king thought it, we would like it. This... Oh, that's so rude. How can you ask for someone's things as soon as you meet them? Are you a selfish character, Mr. King? ba doo boo noo boo Sniff. doo noo noo That was too harsh, Miss Daly. You've made the king sad. He's kind of a wimpy king. Diary of a wimpy king. You can't have this, though. I was told not to give it to anyone. Sorry. The king does not mind. The king is not crying. The king asked, would you listen to the king's request? Instead, request the king and his people are troubled, do do, troubled by a new restaurant at the edge of the crystal forest. I would think that the restaurant's opening at a tourist draw would be perfectly normal. The birds who go in new, uh, to the restaurant do not come out, holy crap. They go in but never come out, do do do, once they go in they don't come back out, do 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 do, those come come out can't go in do you understand no i don't so people are disappearing inside the restaurant hey well that got creepy quickly oh no the king was very scared and the king cried the king asked you who have you have come from the outside if you could investigate please i guess wandering travelers will always get asked to run errands if they talk to the king no matter where they are what what do you think nageki should we accept we don't have any other plans this could kill some time. An investigation which smacks the intrigue of danger could kill some time? You're awfully bold, Nageki. I like the cut of your jib. Understood, Mr. King. Leave it to us. The king looks stupid. Oh man, we're going to the shroom forest. We've been walking following the king somewhat in inexact directions for about half an hour. Is this the crystal forest the king mentioned? There do appear to be crystals. Of course, with everything in the kingdom as sparkly as this, this forest really doesn't stand out at all. Oh shit. That is correct. This is the Crystal Forest. The citizen's probably evil. Uh? Jeez, he startled me. Doesn't anyone know how to make their presence known beforehand? If this is the Crystal Forest, then the restaurant should be nearby. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh? Happy New Year. Miru and Kaku are hungry. What? Wait, Miru and Kaku? What's wrong? Did you suddenly turn into New Year's characters? Uh, you do realize New Year's Day is over already too, right? Meh? Merry Christmas! That's true. Merry Christmas! Miru and Kaku felt lonely because everyone forgot about Christmas. Merry Christmas! But Christmas will always live on in Miru and Kaku's hearts. Well, that's good. Yay, more Christmas music. Oh, good. It would really be a little much for them to suddenly change themes that soon after being introduced. Do you know those white things? Oh, right. You've never met them. They're Miru and Kaku. They're white things that look kind of like doves but aren't. How vague. Well, I don't really know just what they are either, to be honest. It's fine. I'm Nageki. Nice to meet you two. Merry Christmas! Nageki, Nageki, nice to meet you. Anyway, I hadn't expected uh, to see even you two in this stream. What are you doing? Are you still looking for trees? Merry Christmas. No, Miru and Kaku have a terrible problem. Miru and Kaku are hungry. Well, eat a mushroom. Merry Christmas. Hungry, hungry. So Miru and Kaku are going to the restaurant. Yay. Oh, no, you're going to eat. No, wait. Too late. It's too late to pull jars. Miru and Kaku vanish deep into the forest. This must be another one of those flags. After them. Go. 
and so Nageki ran through the forest after the disastrously, disastrously hungry Miro and Kaku. There's the restaurant, everybody. We got a chef bird up on the roof. This is the restaurant Miro and Kaku were headed for then. The sign says Chateau Shakur. I have a terrible feeling about this. That name can't be a coincidence. Uh, or maybe it's just my imagination. Well, this is the restaurant the king was talking about we need to investigate. Nageki looks to me as if acting out what we should do next. March straight in front of the door, of course. Here we go. It doesn't look like a restaurant. A passage, a door, and a sign. It's a little plain. Oh man, maybe they're closed? The signpost says the shop has many orders. Please be patient. Huh? Does that mean there are a lot of customers who may have to wait? There isn't an anywhere for a queue, though. What do we want to do, Nageki? What if there's reservation only? We're here as investigators. I don't think we need a reservation. Oh, right! Let's keep going. Here we go! Huzzah! We open the door to reveal an identical, plain corridor. Another door, another sign, and Miro and Kaku in a bucket! Merry Christmas! Warm and steamy, warm and steamy! Oh, another KFC! What are you two doing? Taking a bath? Merry Krishnu! Following instructions. Oh no, look, Miss Daly. Nageki points at the sign. Please clean yourselves here. Oh, okay, how sanitary. This restaurant must cater to celebrities, so we may hope. Oh man, Merry Christmas! Next room, next room, yay! Here we go, Miru and Kaku, looking like a little glossier than usual, head through the door. And we got another hallway. This place is like an onion. Go further and it looks exactly the same. Ogres have layers. There's another sign as well. What does it say? Please rub this cream on your hands, feet, and face from the tips of your feathers all the way into your skin. Oh no! Cream? Are they being cooked? Yes, they are. Before eating! I've never been to a high school cl high class restaurant before high school restaurant. Your celebrities always had to put on moisturizer before eating. Merry Christmas! Oh no, another covered in cream! Cream Iriku Kaku. Cream Miru Kaku. Okay. They're covered in it. Merry Christmas! Onto the next room with excitement and dampness. Yay! Oh no, they're gonna get cooked as they run through the door still covered in cream. Oh dear, they're leaving footprints. In our hallway and surprise, surprise, in our passageway with another sign. All those orders must have been hard to follow. What a pity. So, uh, that's the one that said that there were a lot of orders. Didn't mean orders to the restaurant, but orders from the restaurant. Yes. Oh no! I'm not taking instruction from some greasy diner. I do what I want. Sex and drugs, whatever, I do what I want. This is the last order. Please rub this salt all over your bodies. Salt? On top of the cream, celebrities do some pretty weird stuff. This would be a torture if you had a paper cut or something. Merry Christmas! Ouch, 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 my eyes! Are you two okay? I hope they are. Cream, salt, and tears? I almost feel bad for the floor. Oh no, in a rather star sorry state now. Merry Christmas! Or Miro and Kaku. Merry Christmas! But that was the last one. Hooray. Merry Christmas! Miro and Kaku get to eat now. Yay! Oh, well, you just eat the salt and cream. They go into the next room, leaving a trail of salt and sadness. The janitor will probably have a nervous breakdown. Nervous breakdown. Come take me away. Da -na 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 -na. Nervous breakdown cafeteria today. To the sign, Miss Daly. What? Huh? There's more written on it. Oh no. We are sorry for all that. You did very well. Now go ahead. We'll be happy to have you for dinner. Oh no, my phone's buzzing. What does it say? Oh, I got two emails in a row. I got an email from Gmail and I got a Twitch thing. Fine, I'll check that later. It's probably shit. We're so happy to have you for dinner. Well, that ended in an awfully polite note. Uh-huh, you think so? It says they'll be happy to have us, see? Polysemy is a terrible thing. Nageki stares at me coldly. Stop it, you'll leave a hole. You're reading, have you, have, have you, and you mean have you over, yes? Uh-oh, I suppose so. What else could it mean? What does it mean to have something for dinner, Miss Daly? I think it means Miro and Kaku are the main course. What? Oh, no. Thanks for the explanation. Now we need to hurry. Oh, no. Coming through. The passage from the entrance leads straight into the kitchen. Oh, this is a bit much. Oh, no. Oh, no. Merry Christmas. Ow, ow! They're being boiled alive. Are you two okay? Merry Christmas! This bath is too hot. Can they turn it down a little? It looks like we're just in time. Wait, just a minute, you two. I'll have the temperature down in no time, and then you can enjoy your bath. Yep. My, you are noisy. Are you with them? Oh, man, it's the chef. It's Chef Shu. That's weird. I knew it would be you. Does your cruelty know no bounds, even in dreams, doctor? 
Why can't you, we will at least be nice while I'm asleep? So you think I should behave in your dreams as you would expect me to? I guess so, but... Now then, this is not yet your turn. May I ask you to be quiet while you wait? Also, it would appear that you have not followed all the instructions. Please return to the entrance and start over. He has a knife, Miss Daly. Let's get out of here. Humans who would be scared of a butter knife like that died a long time ago. Oh, fuck. Oh. Don't worry, Nageki, I can handle this. What should I do? Oh, heck. Let's save really quick in case we fuck up. Yes. Yep, got you. Okay, ready, what should we do? Uh, right Golden Lightning Spiral Kick, the Legendary Left Tempest Uppercut. Um, Legendary Left Tempest Uppercut. Take this. Legendary Left Tempest Uppercut! Gah! Aha! I knew you were weak on your right side, Doctor! Know the enemy, and you need not fear the result of a hundred battles, eh? Oh! I had not accounted for this! I did not expect a human as strong as you to come to the restaurant! Well, we'll be taking Miro and Kaku back now. No, you won't! And you're closing the restaurant right now! You've been making the king worry, you know. Oh, very well. I shall de defer you to impressive physique. Don't worry, I shall spend some time coming up with a new way of harvesting in ingredients. Here I go. He's not even trying to hide the fact that he's aiming to be back open soon. Make sure you get permission from the king when you reopen, okay? Weird. That's it for that, then. Yep. Are you okay, Miru and Kaku? Merry Christmas! Miru and Kaku are warm and steamy. Merry Christmas! And Miru and Kaku got to eat the vegetables from up in the bath. Hooray! They're still a little on the rare side. That's good. Yes, it is, Nageki. Merry Christmas! Miru and Kaku are going to burn off some calories now. Yay! Some people just never slow down. Oh, I'm so hungry. Uh, and to be hungry is to be sad. Oh, man. It's this guy. He's back. Oh, my. A restaurant. That's how he sounds. Wait, no, don't go in. Hmm? What's wrong? You can't go in there. It's closed right now. Wait? No. And I thought I would finally get to eat some corn. The king thought the restaurant was suspicious. Uh, yeah. You aren't from around here, are you? No, I'm not. I'm a migrant. I'm on a journey now. A journey? Did you come up from the train, sir? Yes, that's right. I'd never seen this star before, so I decided to take a look around. Ah, journeys are wonderful, so many things to see. But being hungry is terrible. It makes me so sad. I suppose I'll keep looking for food then. Goodbye. Oh man, he's dust. He's out of here. Nageki and I watched a migrant wander back into the forest. If he'd been five minutes earlier, he might have ended up on a spit. A lucky fellow. Definitely. Are we heading back to the king? And so we solved the case of the vanishing restaurant goers. What do we do now? Well, where was the goal again? We should probably go report to the king. He must still be worried. Ah, oh, of course. Let's go back to the palace now then. We'll be walking more. Is that okay with you, Nageki? Yes. I like walking with you. He's so quiet now that I hadn't realized. I'm glad he's enjoying himself anyway. Come to think of it, being able to go on a journey and walk around outside like this much must be like a dream come true for him. It is a dream after all. Hmm. Wouldn't it be nice if this dream lasted forever, Nageki? We will wake up when the morning comes. When the morning comes, it has to end eventually. I know, I know. But until then, I want you to keep walking around with you, Miss Daly. Me too. For now, we can walk back to the king's palace. The king said that will not be necessary. Oh, shit. Oh, man, there's the king. Here he is. He's angry. It's the forward king. Your appearance out of nowhere is just like your citizens, Mr. King. What do you have to say, bitch? Your Majesty, we defeated the owner of the restaurant. The restaurant is closed now, so there's nothing more to worry about. The king is very grateful. Thank you, guests from far away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. What can I say except fuck you? The king would like to reward you. Please accept the king's gift. It's a giant ruby. Whoa, what a pretty gem. What kind is it? It is a garnet. It's garnet back together. And I'm not going to fall down to the hands of you because I'm so much better. And every ounce of me is saying go get her. The name comes from the French word for pomegranate. It looks like a, a little bit like a pomegranate, I guess. But the king, the king's still in trouble. Wait, the king is still in trouble. The king asked you, will you listen to the king's next request? 
He must be having an awful lot of trouble for how peacefully this planet seems. Um, what do you think, Nageki? We don't have anything to do, do we? I'll let you decide. Well, uh, heroes are supposed to complete the quest before them, right? Well, what's your next request, Mr. King? The flowers in the garden are gonna be blown away. Blown away? Is there a typhoon coming? The garden is going to explode today. What kind of garden is this? I don't know. The king is so stupid. The king is very scared. Now the king is crying. Even I would be a little unsettled if my garden was going to explode. Let's help him, Miss Daly. Leave it to us, Mr. King. I'll do it. The king is gonna go back. We're back to the city, but where do you think the explosive garden is exactly? Who knows? I don't see anything likely here. Maybe it's on the outskirts of the town. Maybe. And this time we might not know even if we get to see it. We should have gotten the king to show us the way. The flowers blew up. The gardens exploded. Oh no. Nageki, look. A crowd of racking, or panicking citizens are trying to run away from something. Like rats from a burning sewer pipe. That analogy is a little mean, Miss Daly. We'll probably find the garden if we go towards whatever they're running from. Oh no. Oh no, the garden has big holes in it. Oh shit. Oh man. Uh, so what is this lunacy? Do you mean to tell me that blowing up gardens is common practice in this barbaric store? It's a cool, yeah, huh? Did something happen like this a few weeks ago? Maybe. It's a nice garden, aside from the holes. Yeah, and poor Sakuya. He gets all the bombing victim. He's, he gets to be the bombing victim, even in Dreamland. Is this dreadful? And I have an important tea party schedule for the local celebrities today. This disgrace will besmirch the LaBelle family name. Oh, so he's uh, hosting a tea party here? Weird. Jeez, you should have invited me too, though I'm not a celebrity. I, do I know you? Who did this? I haven't seen the slightest. The, there has been no suspicious activity. The garden blew up by itself. So, time bomb set before everyone got here. Oh, that's some awfully meticulous terrorism for a fairy tale world. Let me have a quick one. Ugh. Shit, I need to eat more sugar. Have you already made enemies? Uh, who you want to ruin the name on this planet, Sakuya? Do you mock me? Perhaps you have not noticed, but this is a dream, and it only just started. <laughs> I have barely been here a few hours. How can I possibly have made enemies? I think Sakuya's snobby, aristocratic attitude could make him all kinds of enemies within the space of a single conversation. But then again, none of the people here seem particularly short-tempered. It's like someone setting up a grudge, then who and why. Hmm, maybe they have some sort of other, far deeper motive than we're just... Wah! What? What? Confounded it. More explosions. Miss Daly, get down. Kablam! Oh no. Meh. Oh no, no, there's a big hole in there. It's where... Wow, more holes, that's what she said. Grrr. Show yourselves, terrorists, cowards. That's right. Come on out and fight us like men. Come out and play. Wait. Someone's coming through. Who is it? Oh, looks like I have arrived at last. Yuya. Salutations, mon ami. You are here too. This is no time for salutations, you. You unsufferable mongrel. What have you done to my beautiful garden? Oh, it looks like I blew too much of it up. Sorry, Sakuya. Looks like. What do you mean, looks like? Take responsibility for your actions, you filthy mongrel cur. Look at what you've done. My garden is nothing but holes. Sorry, sorry. I had a little trouble finding the entrance, you see. Ho ho. Minions. There's a gate right over there. Is there really? Yeah, you, you. Why did you have to do all this? Aha! Uh -huh. I guess that's what happens when you enjoy your job too much! Oh no! Look at my voice! Stop laughing, you fiend! Anyway, I'm so happy to see you! As your brother, I do worry about how you are doing, even in the dream! Adieu! What? He disappeared. He just fell into the hole. you ya? Are you alright? There's no reply, just a hole. <laughs> that's what that was all about. Down a hole he created himself serves him right, the licentious cur. I wonder where he went. It looks like a rabbit hole. So maybe he's in Wonderland? Can you hear me, Saki Yaku Yaku? I want you to sit down here in the dark and think about what you've done. And on the next installment, 
of Hotful Boyfriend Holiday Star. It's going to be part 11. So guys, the last episode I'm going to record is going to be tomorrow, and it's going to be an extreme extended episode until we beat the fourth chapter. I don't know how long that's going to be, but this is going to be a 12-part Let's Play because I said it's going to be a 12-part Let's Play. Even if I have to do the rest of the episode in two more episodes. You know what I fucking mean. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next Holy Garden. Holy Garden.